After using a similar build for two wildly different runs, it was time for a different strategy. Let me introduce you to Faye Faro. Rather than going for fitness and strength, I chose those that reduce my detectability and need for sleep. I even picked up traits like out of shape, feeble and overweight, as I could remove them over time with a low calorie diet and exercise. With a plan and growing confidence, I was ready to take on the insanely infested streets of Louisville. Spawning on the second floor of a building, I quickly took anything of value I could carry and closed the curtains. A shotgun caught my eye, but without high strength, I lacked the carrying capacity to hold it. Upon reaching the bottom floor, I repeated the same steps, finding a solid weapon and an improvised water bottle. Needing curtains on the windows, I removed them from the upper floor and brought them down. Now safe, I looked for my location to assess the surrounding area. I found myself in a wealthy neighborhood far away from the CBD, meaning I'd be in a more open environment with fewer zombies. Aware of my surroundings, it was time to venture outside. There were two large groups to the west and the east, but I chose to take out the closest. Their corpses yielded three good items. A leather jacket to provide resistance against injuries, a walkie-talkie, and a Masterton Horizon key for a nearby car. Overheating, I cut down on my articles of clothing until I was wearing only my shoes and jacket, maximizing protection but keeping my temperature down. Everything was going well. Thinking quickly, I looked around my house to try and split them up. Coming in through the back door, I met with a couple who had already broken in. It was an interesting fight, but under control. With the house cleared, it was time to work on the stragglers outside. Luckily, I wasn't bitten and only had a laceration. During that fiasco, the group to the west had migrated down, so naturally, it was time to take on the back lawn. I may have been weaker, but I still had it. I continued tackling groups by pulling only a couple of them at a time, whispering when I couldn't get them to look at me. I took a quick pee break before heading to the neighboring house. pulled what I could outside and went in. It was a little hairy, but I kept calm and prevailed. The house was scarce, except for a hiking bag, which I desperately needed. After securing the house with sheets, I washed my clothes and looked for a place to call home. The best looking spot was the homes to the west. If I constructed simple defences, I'd have an unreachable backyard to grow plants, eventually install water collectors, and feel safe. With hope for the future building, I went to sleep. I awoke nervous, and without the haemophilia trait, I assumed something outside had disturbed my sleep. Blaming the undead, I left to clear the perimeter. I took the opportunity to search the cars, but avoided using the radio, fearing any nearby zombies. After some self-care, I began exercising, electing to do burpees as I'd improve my fitness and strength. The gains were not substantial, but repetition would improve my yields. If you don't know, the queasy feeling is a telltale sign of becoming ill. And after a recent injury from a zombie... Well, if I'm infected, fuck. I just gotta risk it and hope that I'm not. I continued westward and found one of the houses ransacked. I could only hope one of the other two would be in better condition. Pushing further, I found a survivor's house. They usually have good supplies. I 
I was right. The building had medical supplies, weapons, and food. Encumbered, and now exhausted, I made my way back to base. After depositing my fines and having a quick rest, I began to work away on a large group outside the ransacked house. With my newfound crowbar, I quickly dispatched them. Clearing inside and around the house, I had paved a way to my destination. Thankfully, it was intact, and the field featured no nearby groups. I had a new home. Making my way inside, the house was unfurnished. A little annoying, but I could create my own home. Taking the antidepressants in the bathroom, I tackled one of the many ailments now plaguing me, and after a brief rest, I left to get on top of exhaustion. Now tired, I welcomed in the next day. I awoke to ailing health, increasing nervousness, and nausea. The likelihood of my imminent death continued to grow. All I could do was improve my healing by consuming a large meal and taking antibiotics. A large group had formed, so I moved on to a more manageable group outside my future base. I had another bout with my true enemy and looted the house for furniture and sheets to take back across the road. Despite not doing much, I was already becoming exhausted and ground to a halt after moving only a short distance. Even for my fitness, this was fast. Even if I could get my exhaustion down, it felt as though it would be back up in no time. Unable to leave my base, the writing was on the wall. Reducing my weight and taking what I could to ease my suffering, I attempted to get on top of my exhaustion, only to find myself tired, to only wake up with terminal damage. This was the end.